Hello my dear friends and my dear students, once again welcome back. Well this is the third video of this video series and in this video we will be talking about the head, right after the head we will be talking about the mouth and it different type of parts. So again the, the link for the previous two videos I have given in the i button as well as it is given uh, below in the description box. So let's begin with the different structure of the mouth part. Now try to understand, I have written something in sequence and we will be talking about all the parts one after another. So first, I start with the clypeus. It is not so important but still, clypeus is again they are all chitinous split sort of structure which is present at this region. If this is your clypeus, and this clypeus will help to hold the labrum to the head of the cockroach. So if I make now say this, I write the number for your understanding. So first one, it is the clypeus. It's a chitinous plate sort of structure which will allow the labrum. So this is my labrum to get attached with the head. Now, as you know, labrum, labium, maxilla, mandible. Labrum, upper lip, labium, lower lip, maxilla, upper jaw, mandible, lower jaw. Right? So, you have got the labium, the labrum over here. Now, to the inner surface of the labrum, there is a presence of some special structure which is known as the epipharynx. And this is a structure which is present, which is associated with the labrum, which will help in the in perceiving the test. So, as far as testing a food for a cockroach is concerned, you have this epipharynx, which is present to the inner surface of the labrum, right? Now, right below the labrum, you will have the lower lip, that is the labium. So, let me make that here. Say so this is the lower lip which is alternatively known as a labium right now let's understand the position and the structure of the jaw first we'll talk about the maxilla the upper jaw now see the location of the maxilla it somewhat comes like this this and like this and by the way, they are biremous in nature. Right? So, this is my biremous end. That's my biremous end. So, you can see this is the biremous end. So, with the help of biremous end, I can easily catch hold of any food particles and I can take it inside. That's the function of the biremous end which is present in the maxilla and of course you will be having you know like several projections known as the serrations so here also you will see the presence of the serrations like this so these are the serrations or the point now next is a mandible that is a lower jaw now see suppose you are observing me right now if I remove all the skin, all the muscle in this position, you can easily get to see my mandible, the lower jaw, right? But what if I place my head in this way? So don't you think the whole part which you were otherwise observing and now due to the presence of a head like this, the whole mandible will not be visible? Maybe just a part, maybe this part of the mandible will be visible because rest of the part will be hidden below this. Make sense? So same thing happened because it is the hypognathous head, right? So the whole mandible will not be visible for you. Uh, just a part of the mandible will be visible somewhat like this. So say this is the mandible. This is the mandible like this. Just a part of the mandible will be visible. So let me quickly give the number here. 
we talked about the number 4 maxilla so this is a number 4 and definitely this is the number 5 right mandible and if i show you a typical structure of a mandible it somewhat looks like this triangular in shape and they have the serrated margin projections towards the inside serrations so this margin is known as a serrated margin and they act as a teeth like the way we have that means you can actually understand mastication of the food biting chewing of the food will be done by this due to, uh, due to the presence of this serrated margin which is typically present in the mandible right now the last part that is the hypopharynx it is regarded as a tongue like structure now if you, if you know if you have ever observed yourself in the mirror by opening your mouth you will see at the end of the buccal cavity there is a structure hanging like a pendulum right if you open that is what you call as a uvula similar since the the mouth is not opened here similar way the, the way we are having the uvula they also have a same sort of structure at the end of their buccal cavity is what you call as a hypopharynx now these hypopharynx perform two functions two important functions number one whatever food you have taken inside with the help of this bioremus end and you have put it inside that food will be taken you know like down so it helps in the swallowing along with that say if this is the hypopharynx to this hypopharynx the salivary duct will open up as a result of which from this hypopharynx the saliva will ooze out into the buccal cavity Makes sense, right? So that's about the structure of the whole mouth parts. By the way, also remember the mandible, the lower jaw, right, which is movable. This is movable. This it becomes move movable by these two muscle adductor and abductor. Important name for the exams. So last but not the least, once again for the hypopharynx, most important function of the hypopharynx is it regarded as a tongue and through this hypopharynx, the saliva will be oozing out because just let me give an example. Say if this is a hypopharynx. So what I'm saying to this hypopharynx, the duct of the saliva or salivary gland will be released here. That means whatever saliva has to go out, the saliva will be oozing out from this. That means if you open the structure of a mouth of a cockroach like this, at the end of the buccal cavity, you will see something is hanging in this way. So that is what we call as a hypopharynx. So that's it, guys. That's about the whole structure of the mouth. Previously, we have discussed on the head. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share is also something which you can do at your own end. Till then, bye-bye and take care.